you know what would be funny bro? If we just dance in front of this old dude's house. Yeah, wow, you know what? This is kind of fun. What do you kids think you're doing? Oh, we're just dancing, bro. You guys are making a whole noise out here. You and we're not making no noise. We're just dancing, bro. I'm calling the cops. No, you don't call the cops, dog. That's not cool. Hey, what's up, guys? So Vidic made a money-making video kind of recently explaining what are some of the good money-making methods. And so we're going to add on to that today, guys. We're going to go with number one, what are some money-making methods that are cool and I think you guys should know about? And number two, what are some money-making methods that you guys think are cool and we should add to the game? So let's start off with number one, some of the cool money-making methods that I think you guys should know about. Number one is actually pest control. So if you guys don't know, there's a dollar diary and you guys should check that out if you guys haven't seen that already but at the moment pest control is definitely number one profit on this entire dollar diary thing here and you can get yourself eight donator dollars per hour from doing pest control which amounts to 800 mil but since we are increasing the price of dollars actually the dollar diaries will give you even more profit so actually it'd be more like one bill per hour from this pest control mini game which is pretty good and then after pest control which is number one we have stealing creation and castle wars these are both about 500 mil profit per hour so it's half it's not as good but it's still better than slash bash it's still better than god wars bosses so if you guys need money then definitely do castle wars or stealing creation it's pretty easy to win every single game because usually the bots are the bots are pretty bad at what they're doing they're not very good at capturing the flag they're not very good at depositing items so so yeah, you guys basically have the advantage there. And so what are some of the other examples of money making? We have hangman wins, which actually you can do at the same time as you're doing some of those mini games because hangman, it only requires you to do it every five minutes for type for like 20 or 30 seconds each time. So basically you can do hangman while you're doing some other money making method, whatever other one you choose. And so what else can you do? You can also even actually get these code keys from the hangman points that you get you use these code keys and you can actually get approximately 500 mil per hour from the code keys if you're doing the hangman so with the 500 mil from the hangman plus the 500 mil from the code keys you can make about one bill per hour with both of those and i think you can also even stack on top of it another activity like i was saying before like castle wars or some some mini game like this so you could get this one bill from code keys and hangman and get another 500 mil which would actually make it 1.5 bill so that would be about the maximum stack of money that you can make and then also another one from this dollar diary is actually quest i quite like that one because quests you just kind of point and click and it's you know gives you a good story and you can also go to the quest shop as well afterwards and get yourself some death touch shards i think that you can probably get yourself at least 30 death touch shards if you do all the quests and then you can get approximately 500 mil per hour from doing quests and yeah there's like 10 or 20 of them at least so check them out so now we're going to move on to number two which is the money making suggestions that you guys have and these are pretty good suggestions guys so number one someone wanted slayer to be a little bit profitable which i totally agree with slayer doesn't seem that profitable it's, it has good items if you're doing a certain task like abyssal demons but if you're just doing a regular hard task then there's not too much reward for it other than the slayer helm i think but you know slayer helm is good but you also want some money as well so we could add that to the dollar diaries so that it's like you know you get four dollars per hour just by doing slayer and i think that'd be kind of cool and promote slayer a little bit so that's one of the suggestions and another suggestion is sorcerer's garden i, I thought this one would be pretty cool so let's say you do all four trees because uh I, I want you guys to do all four because doing just one of them isn't really a challenge since one of them you can kind of cheat and just click once to get to the tree but if i require you to do all four and make it so you get four dollars per hour to so make it like 500 mil per hour doing sorcerer's garden that'd be kind of cool personally sorcerer's Sorcerer's Garden seems like the most fun mini game on the server, one of the most fun ones, just because I had something fun about not getting caught when you're trying to steal a fruit from a tree, and it's kind of like Adam and Eve a little bit, but I don't know, it's just fun for me to think about and do that. It was one of my favorite mini games, I think, on RS. I don't really remember what the reward was, maybe it's just experience. And then also Pyramid Plunder. Any of the thieving ones where you're not supposed to get caught, or I guess you have like snakes coming out of the urns, that just seems like a fun mini game to me. But that's basically all we 
we have for the suggestions and all we have for the money making methods that i thought you guys should know that are kind of cool so anyways guys peace out just kidding guys we're actually going to announce the winner for last video's giveaway which is dilly bar 510 so congratulations you win 20 death touch shards and 6 billion coins be sure to comment your name below so that you can get 20 death touch shards and 5 billion and yeah basically peace out